the e-invoice system provides a provision of an offline method to generate the multiple invoice reference number in Onigo by the taxpayers. This tool will allow us to enter the requests for IRN in Excel file and allow to validate and convert into JSON file. You can download the bulk IRN generation tools from the e-invoice portal by navigating to the Help, Tools and select Bulk Generation Tools option. The first section shows e-invoice attributes which need to be included in the JSON. This sheet explains their description, JSON element, to which the attributes are mapped, the data type, and length. This will help you in preparing the JSON by yourself directly from your computerized system. The second section shows tools available for preparing the JSON. There are four different bulk preparation tools as Format A, Format B, Format C, and Format D. These formats have been designed as per the requirements of different classes of taxpayers and transactions. Format A. This format consists of a single worksheet in which invoice and items details are entered to prepare JSON file to upload the large number of e-invoices by a single upload to the IRP. Businesses having one or two items in the invoice can use this format. Format B. This format consists of a two worksheets in which invoice and items details can be entered separately. This format is advisable for the businesses having many items in the invoice. Format C. This format consists of a five worksheets in which invoice details, items details, payment details, reference details, and additional details are entered separately. Format D. This format consists of a single worksheet in which invoice details, items details, payment details, reference details, and additional details are entered in the same worksheets. There are different worksheets in bulk generation tool. Profile sheet. This is the sheet where you configure your Excel tool. The first part contains Seller details such as GSTIN trade name, place, PIN code, state, etc. Please note that the details entered here will be populated under Seller GSTIN in the JSON. As there are many columns in the invoice sheet and all may not be required except the mandatory. The second part helps you to have only the required columns of the invoice based on the configuration. For example, if you do not have reverse charges in any of your invoices, you may select no. So that column will not be shown in the worksheet. Similarly, if you don't have e-commerce transactions, then you may select no. This way the Excel tool will show only the required columns. Now you will see. How to make entries in format A, bulk tool, validate it, create the JSON and upload to the e-invoice website. To begin, you have to click on the e-invoice tab. And have to select the supply type code. From the drop down as B2B transaction, says with payment, or says without payment, or export with payment, or export without payment or deemed export. Select the reverse charges as yes or no from the drop down as per the transaction. In the case of an e-commerce transaction, enter the e-commerce operator Gston. In the document details, select the document type from the drop down as invoice or credit note or debit note as per the document in hand and have to enter the document number and document date. Document number should not start with zero and you should ensure that the unique invoice number is generated for the financial year for each invoice. In buyer details, enter Bargston, legal name of the business and select the state from the drop-down list under buyer P, O, S, 
which indicates place of supply of goods. In the case of export, place of supply should be other countries. Next, dispatch details. These are the details from where the dispatch of goods will be done. If dispatch details are provided, then the transaction is considered as bill from dispatch from. You can enter the dispatch details like name, address, PIN code and state, if dispatch details are different from the supplier registered details. Next, shipping details. These are the details to where the goods will be delivered. If shipping details are provided, then the transaction is considered as bill to ship to. You can enter the shipping details like shipping stin, name, address, PIN code, and state if shipping details are different from the buyer registered details. Next, under product details, we have to enter the consignment details, such as serial number. It must be unique for an invoice. If your invoice is dealing with services, then you can select yes under a service column. Then enter HSN code. Each item needs to have valid HSN code with at least four digits, quantity, unit price, and gross amount, which is quantity multiplied with unit price. Then you will enter discount on the item if any, and then taxable value, which is gross amount of item minus discount. Now you will select the GST rates from the drop-down list. Only the allowed tax rates will be accepted. In case of intrastate transaction, you need to enter SGST and CGST. And in case of interstate transaction, the IGST has Next to be entered. Enter the CES and CES add volume. Enter the other charges and item total, which is sum of taxable value and other charges. You can enter the batch details of items under batch details column. In the next section, value details is total of all the items and it should be the same for all items of the same invoice. If there is any difference in the amount, then you can enter under round off up to 10 rupees and then the total invoice value would be displayed. If in transaction type, export is selected then you can enter details under export details column. If you also want to create e-way bill for the invoice you are generating, then you have to enter the trans ID, then part A of e-way bill will be generated. If you enter the vehicle number, then part B will be generated. After entering the requests for invoice in the sheet, you have to validate for the correctness of the data format using the validate button. If there are any errors while validating, then the list of errors can be seen in the error list column. After successfully validating the data, you will click on prepare JSON button to generate the JSON file. After successfully generating the JSON file, log in to the e-invoice portal and select bulk upload option under e-invoice in menu. On doing so, one will see a screen which allows you to upload the concerned JSON file. Click choose file to browse for the JSON file containing the details. and then click upload. After processing, the system then generates the IRN for all the requests one by one and shows the result in tabular form. Otherwise, the system will show error details. You can download the table details into your system by clicking the download Excel option. For further use and action, here, you also have the option to download the sign JSON.